Welcome everyone. This is your phone, Mr. Penny Tier. Another video in the series. Crazy, 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 crazy number of videos coming on. Right? And then, now, if you say if you want to learn forward, stay up on the channel, subscribe, and like, and all of that. You know what you do. So, do you only know what you do, right? Me, I do my job, which is to provide you guys with the solutions, well explained, and all that. All right? So number one said 0 0.45 may be written as 9 over 20, 4 over 5, 9 over 10. All right, they always give you a nice equal one to start. So 45 over 0 0.45 can be the same thing as 45 over 100. Right? And then now we divide both sides. Both sides divide both of them by 5. That's 9 over. Wait. All right, let's move on to number two. The number 3.14063 written correct to three decimal places is so. First, we go to the well, how many to three? So, first, we have to go to the fourth number. If it's three decimal places, then what you have to go to the fourth number. After the decimal point says so one, two, three, four, so six, we are free. All right, if it's five or greater, we add one. We're going to add one to the zero, and we get two. So that one would be two. The number. 3076 written in, in standard form is. Now, standard form must be between 0 and 10, right? So you can have 1 point something, 2 point something, 3 point something, 4 point something, 5 point something, 6 point something, 7 point something, 8 point something, 9 point something, right? It has to be a single digit. So basically, all, all numbers, the decimal point is right here. You see, notice I have the one thing, I have not made them for small writing, right? So the decimal point is right here. So what we have to do is move the number of decimal places now to get it to the single digit. So one, two, three. So we move three places. Three places we move. All right. So it's three point zero seven six times ten to the three. All right, so now we need to determine if it's positive or negative. Now, the value of this, why this come and say? The value of this must equal to this when we multiply. Can we get the product? This must equal to this. So if we are multiplying by a positive number, 10, positive 100 or 1,000, we move to the decimal place to do all right. So it will be positive. So our answer would be, let's move on to number four. All right, number four refers to the following diagram. The fraction circle, everything I can say everything. The fraction of the circle which has been shaded is, oh, on the shaded part, so we have to make it right. So we know that the entire circle measures 360 degrees. So we don't want the reflex part, so we have got minus 285 from that line. Right? All right, five from 10. All right, so that's eighty five. All right, so it's seventy five. So that portion is seventy five out of three sixty. All right. All 
right? So we can find a number now to break it down because see it's 75 or 369. So we have to go break it down. Now, 15, we can use 15, right? 15 into this, 15 and 15, 30, five times. And 15 into 360, 24. So the shaded portion could be five over 20. So that's number four, right? Let's move on to number five. Exact value of zero, we don't even have to work it out, guys. So when you multiply 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, you'll get more. Um, you'll get this, should be this. And then when we divide it by two now, you will get two total. Common sense, that, but you guys can work it out. Suppose you have four decimal places, right? When you square it, because it's a two. So when you square it, you're supposed to have four decimal places. Come on, sense. All right. Number six now. In a school, the ratio of the number of pupils to the number of teachers is 20 to 1. If the number of pupils is 840, how many teachers are there? So I could just write what I'm giving. So we have 20 to 1. So what this means, for every 20 students, there is one teacher. So if you have 840, all right, put it over here. Each teacher have 20 students. That's the one where you can look at it. So we divide this by 20, and that will be our answer, right? So we type 42, you know, work it out still. 20 into 80 goes four times. And a 40, and then two. So that's 40. As I was saying, it look like 40. All right. P is equal to 52, 77, 91, 124, and 278. Three members of the set P of a common factor, which is Oh, we get to them and say, what are these numbers? Three of them as a factor, and we must find out which number. And right, say four, you are going to 52, you are going to 77. All right, to eliminate four, we could try seven now. Seven can go into this. Seven can go into this. Seven can go into 91, yeah? So seven. Wait, let me check it first. Seven can go into to 124 here, but a one time, yeah, so, and it has a left, five, and seven. Oh, yeah, man. Can go in at this. What? Can go at three times and one. Yes, it's a seven. So seven going to three numbers. It's going to go into 77, 91, and 270. What I did, guys, I, I just basically tried them as we go along. Next, I would have tried 13 and then 31. But fortunately, we don't need to. So seven is the answer for that one. All right, in the diag in the figure above, da 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 is my point to that. Which type of transformation has taken place? So we just, oh, we now have to just define the transformation. All right, so from P to this, obviously we can see it's a rotation, right? So that's a rotation. Can be a reflection. Can be a share, can be a translation. The translation it don't change. Share. I think it's a part of the All right. 301 can be written as. That would like 8 to me.
tete na onde eu te te dar dos não que mãe aí aí só para saber se o João ganhou de valor aí número ten e p is equal to three bracket a minus two then six a is equal to a is three one time already não me mora Christian already yo then 6a is equal to. All right, so I could just find a first, but a with um, 3a, I could work out 3a. I remember I was doing this on another paper and I was saying something wrong with that question here. So it's a minus two. All right, so I have a solve the um, 3a first, so it's a 3a. Minus three. It's a tricky. So we have a p plus three. That will be three a, right? But with two, with six a, six a double three a. So it would be this. Okay. Hope you guys get the understanding. I almost thought it was a crazy question one at a time. All right, on another paper. All right, number 11, which of the following set is equivalent to A, B, C, D, all right? So this would be C, both of them are four elements. Somebody said, I may not be chat from the video there. Guys, I have a chat, all right? I think it's easy to see the sixty questions so by yourself and have a little five pieces. Trust me, when you guys just see, let's go on YouTube and click and say, oh, I eat that, I don't know. Leave me like, you need me care. But at the end of the day, guys, it's, it's a lot of work, all right? So I have to talk. If Q is equal to A, B, C, D, how many subsets can be obtained from set Q, all right? So that will be two raised to the number of elements. So one, two, three, four. Five plus two to the fifth is equal to five. So I'm going to shift the up ten. Excuse me, if I try to work. All right, thirteen refers to the diagram. I say so. It looks very presentable. The number of students. In each set is indicated how many students do not play volleyball. Right? Go back up now. That's what I wanted to see. How many students did not play volleyball? So volleyball is represented by B. what this two here means they play volleyball or hockey, right? And this volleyball only. So they ask us for not. So it would be out of circle. Right. So it would be into this tree right here. Right? So this could be three nerds, we're not playing no game at all. It will be three plus five and that eight. So our answer for that is eight. Let's move on to 14. Item 14 refer to the following diagram. Two circles above represent set P and set Q. If P is equal to factors of six and Q is equal to factors of four, then the shaded region represents. All right, so if you see factors, factors are numbers like the triangle in right now. So six, so that'll be one, two, three, and six. One and two are one and two are one and two are one and two are one and two is in both, so one and two is our answer. All right, let's move on to four fifteen rather. A woman buys a pair of shoes at a sale. She pays $45, saving $15 on the normal price. 
percentage discount of the pair of shoes is so the original price was sixty dollars. So they take off twenty five percent. Right. So that's what that's all we got the fifty dollars. Twenty five percent of sixty dollars is fifteen dollars. All right. Tom bought a pen for sixty dollars, only to get twenty percent on his cost price. How much money did he gain? Notice they say gain. If my father them say gain, I don't have to read nothing more. It has to be twelve, right? Because twenty percent is the same as dividing by five, so that's twelve dollars. All right. I think he sold it for seventy-two dollars. But the game, see, second be very smart that time. Game, they only ask for the game. Let's move on to 17. And as you can see, it's a 2004 paper. Here doesn't matter the questions, repeat. All right. 17, during a sale, a shop allowed 20% discount of the mark price of clothing. What will the customer pay for a dress? Mark price of $30. So, as I was saying, 20% is the same as dividing by 5. So, it would be 30 divided by 5, so that's equal to 6. And the discount now is $6, so it would be 30 minus 6, which is equal to $24. So let's see if $24 is here. Here's a very nice paper. Though. A customer buys a table on higher purchase. He makes a deposit of $306 and pays six monthly installment of $60 each. Total cost to the customer is. So the deposit of the money we are trust you first. We carry it first when you go down a quarter. So you carry that first. But then you have to pay a monthly installment for six months. So you're gonna be paying six months and you're gonna be paying a flat rate of sixty dollars. So it will be sixty times six. Zero six six thirty six. So we just add 36. About 36, 360. All right. Five, six, six. No, man, how can I devil something this? How can I devil? Anyway, the answer is see. How can I style that? How much number do you have? I don't know if you do that. Number 18. A dinner in a hotel was advertised as $60 plus $18 tax. Total bill for the dinner was, right? So guys, as I say, it's gonna be increased, right? By 18%. So our original, we have original, we have a hundred percent. Then we're gonna increase it to the tax. So with all eight, it's 18% increase. So it would be one, one, eight. Divided by 100 times 60. We'll call this also a value. And I'll try and move from five. Right. Okay. All right. We'll just go with two. All right. So this is three. So, see, it can be stressful sometimes. She eats 24, so that's 3 1, 3, and that 5. Remember, we're not allowed calculators, right? And 3, so she eats 24, 3 1, 3, and that 5, and then 3. Then now we divide by 5. So that will give us seven, seven, five, thirty-five, then zero. Carry only zero to make forty. So that's what. 
$70.80. This can be a little bit stressful, you know, like, but you guys gonna have to support it, but it's just that I don't want to break out nothing. All right, the simple interest on $400 at 5% per annum for two years is given by, oh, simple interest. So simple interest is T times T times R, and the R from the 100 comes from the right? So this is going to be a little on the 100 there. Move this one. I have to go down further. Principal of 400 and blah, 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 blah. 21, let's go. Hit the like button if you're not, if you have not hit the like button as yet, guys. Hit the like button. If the simple interest on eight hundred dollars for three years is fifty four dollars, what is this rate of interest? All right. So as we just write it, formula up there. Simple interest. So the simple interest they give us that. So we have to know when we get the simple interest. So we do it, right. Principal at eight hundred. That's the amount of money borrowed. And we take three years but we don't know the time right and then we put that over 100 all right so we have a transpose now we have to over the 800 the 3 and the 100 so what we have to take the inverse to so the inverse i multiply and then now the two years i put over so or they will multiply so they're not going to become bigger and then we can work it out. It looks simple. Yeah. Let's make one step. So, bam, bam. She can go into 54, make a check. 23, 1. Yeah. 23, 1. Into this goes. One time, we mean that 2. And then 3, 8. 24. Over eight, and then it's eight to sixteen, so that's a two and a quarter. All right, so eight into that goes two times remainder two over eight. Two over eight is the same thing as a quarter. We break it down. So the answer would be. You know the shape's going on, guys. Now if you learn to calculate fast, all right. See, so now I'm putting in a plot of land is valid at eighteen thousand dollar. Land tax is charged at the rate of seventy cents per one thousand value. What is the total amount of tax paid for the land? All right. So look at the information carefully. Two we can do. We can either put this and divide this by a hundred and then times it by this, which is all that's in my eyes. Or we can just simply find out how many one hundred dollars in a eighteen thousand. So we divide. But I might, my way. If you guys have a better way, just leave it in the comment section. Same result, alright. To me, we find this easier. You just divide by a hundred and then times it by seventy. So it'll be one eighty times seventy. We know it's a 70 cent, right? Yeah, yeah. 70, 78, 56. So this. And so see the six guys, you know, see that. All right. So number 23. Where are 23? Where you going are you going so far? I showed them what to call. So we'll go away, guys. We'll be right back. All right, 23. The expression y is equal to the square of x can be written as y is equal to the square. Oh, the square. So that is a, if you can say, square root, square, right? Square. If it was square root, it would have been this. All right. Read the questions very carefully, you know, guys. The expression negative 2 bam 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 is the same as 
So we just expanding, log level kind of easy for saying minus 2x, a negative times a negative give you a positive. So that's positive b. So we see that option. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's b. Number 5, 25 rather. When 7 is added to 3 times a certain number, so n, the result is 23. 3n plus 7 equals 22, so our answer is b. Which is straightforward. I love this, I love this. Everything go around. Alright, so let's move on to 26, I think. Yeah. Jan had X marbles and Max had twice as many Max. Twice as many. Max gives top five of his marbles. How many marbles did Max have? I will read that again. Jan had X marbles and Max had twice. Okay, so Max have twice. Right, you guys. So John represent X represent John and Max have two X. Alright. So now let's see what happened after that. So Max have twice. So that will be two X. And then he say Max gives down five. Oh so you give a five, so you have to minus five for max. So you have to be very careful. So when you guys break it down, that's we really are smart like that. You have to do it to plot it. Don't bother freestyle, right? Just write the information. When you have the information in front of you, it's much easier. Given that P asterisk Q means two Q minus P. The value of 1 asterisk 2 is, so we're just going to substitute the value. So, P are 1 and Q are 2. Alright. So, P equal to, so C6 mark now, M said 2Q. So, that's going to be 2Q minus P. Now, 2Q will be 2 times 2. Because Q are 2. Now, minus 1 from it. So 2, 2 is 4, 4 minus 1, that is 3. So our answer for that one is 3. So they're very smart, they turn on the letters, because sometimes students do not look. They will think, say, a 1, 2, 1 is 2, minus that. That's easier than it is. All right, the expression 2a cube is the same as so that means 2a times itself. Three times. Right? A number raised to a power means the number multiplied by itself. Three times. So we get 8. 8 times 8 times 8 is 8 times 3. Remember, we're just adding the powers. The base is the same. If 5 bracket 2x minus 1 is equal to 35, then x is equal to. Yes, and the options it has to be four. Right. Two four is eight minus one that's seven five seven thirty five. Guys, you have to know the next star. I'm gonna save it. Join the class. Teach you know everything. All right. The sum of x and y is eighteen, and the difference is fourteen. Which pair of sum describe the above statement? So x plus y eighteen. X minus y fourteen. Let's see what happens. So here, here we go. X plus Y is equal to 18. X minus Y, 14. We are reaching the midway point. Let's go, let's go. Somebody's let me know if scream. If 15 square is equal to 225, then the square root of 0 0.0025 let me see. Square root. I want to have a chicken. Never say square. Let that question. Let me see. Let me see. Let me 
here by one side. Yeah, which is my multiply by itself. Or this one is this one. Have to be this. Alright, so that will be 0 0.15. I like it though, I like it. Absolutely awesome. I think it's the first I've seen a person like that. Alright, 32, which of the following diagrams illustrate the function? Oh, what we're looking for is that one of this, I think this would be the x2, guys. You know, c6 mod, sometimes you know, they turn it around. Let's see, let me turn it around. So, yeah, yeah, move for you, so see already. So, bam. It's a normal function because more than one x I got to more than one y, right? So this I got to be that. Yeah, go to so bam, bam. No, this can't work here. This was a can't work. And until we have to see d, it have to be d. Let's see if it works. All right, bam, bam, bam. All right, and that's the definition of a function: one x to one y. So, I was teaching this topic today, you know. All right, 33, a function f is defined as 3x minus 1, the value of f, negative 3. So right now, we just write about this in a long chat. Big up everybody from the Caribbean. Yeah. All over. I get clue of all in guys, so. Everybody big up, all right? So we'll substitute negative three to the equation. So that's negative nine minus one, which gives us negative two, all right? So that will be B, 34. Let's see what I can say. Given f of x is equal to x squared plus three x squared. Oh, I see thing, man. All right, so this time is negative one squared. Minus three minus one plus one. So one square will give us positive one. Negative times a negative will give us positive three. And then we might oh there will plus one. Yeah, this is a plus right here. So that gives us five. Awesome question. Awesome. Should you know the sign? It's gonna mess you up. Right, you have to know it. Which of the following represent the equation of a straight line? Every straight line is in the form y equal mx plus c. So that is b. Alright, so let's move on from 35. Going on fine, we go in on fine, we go in on fine. Alright, so 36 now, some graphs of it. So it makes it now. From the graph above, the value of x when y equal negative one are all right. So when y are negative one, so first we find negative one. All right. So the line here put a different color. Why would that be negative one find the line? I put it in red. So we're actually searching for this point here. All right, so the past two. First of all, let me see how much I did make one. It look like one, two, three, four, five. Five of them, right? So you don't reach a half. You don't reach a three. You see the option here. You don't reach point five. You don't reach a half. Right? So that would be. Go back and see the next question. So that's 36. Let's 20 something more to go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. 37 refers to the diagram. The diagram above shows a graph if A, B, and C are constant and A greater than zero. The equation of the graph could be. I have to eliminate some of them. Couldn't be this. I want to graph. So, couldn't be this neither, right? Once you go up here, like this is a minimum, the mirror maximum, so we can eliminate them. And then now it's the AX here, so I see. 
It is easy, 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 easy. Now I'm going to be All right, guys, we're going on 537. Move on to 38. The distance around the edge of a circle upon is 28, is 88 meter. The radius is meter. All right, so then we want to work out by, right? Change that to the block. Change it. So basically, it's a circular, so that means that uh, and it's a distance, so that means circumference, right? So that's 2 pi r, and then do not work for the pi. That's the other answer them of pi. So this work out to get to it. And then now we have 2 pi r. But them ask to make r the subject of the formula. So now we are divided by 2 pi, we get rid of this. So I think I see the answer. Where do the one side? Both sides. So therefore, two. All right. Guys, a lot of people say, um, I should just click on other side. So I mean, it works so, up. All right. I have to explain it. So you can click through the video if you don't want to hear the explanation. 39 refers to the following diagram. The area in centimeter square of the trapezium above not drawn to scale is so we'll pause this now, right? hello 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 oh I think you are error now think that's an error guys I'm going to call it a error. All right. So the area in centimeter square of the trapezium is not drawn to scale. All right, look, guys. So this is BRI. Right? Then could I put it in this a small, a slant side that you could know what no. Then it's a no. I'm going to make it be a fair exam, right? So it's A. I'm going to label this as A on this side. So it's A plus B. Divided by two and times the height. Right? I'm going to say the two come from the triangle part, right? That's the part two. Why don't you tell me how to do what I'm going to do? It comes from that part. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, um, a square, not square. The um rectangle and a right angle triangle. You guys notice that, right? So that's a seven three is twenty one or so, and this will be four by three. Could do it that way. That's some people want to say. You know, no more. Seven. This this side will be seven also, right? So this portion will be seven times three, which is equal to twenty one centimeters. Wow. And then you have half the base times the height. So if here's so all of this are 11 and this are 7, the most four years so and the height will be 3. So we divide this. So 3 and 4, 12, and we divide it by 2, we get 6 or uh, 27. We could do it the hard way. We want to do it in the primary way. So 7 plus 11, I got 18. So you have 7. So work out the bracket first. 7 plus 11, 18, 18 by 2, 9 times 3. Whichever way you work it out is the same thing. Alright, so let's move on to 40. We have two thirds there. You're gonna get a one sample, you're gonna get a one. Get a get a get a get a get a get a one. All right. So part you refer to the following diagram. I do so far to the so far the so far. So we must say. Very appreciate this. The figure above not drawn to scale consists of a triangle resting on a square. Okay, so it's a square. So all right, a five. So all right, it's a five also. A square as all the five four sides equal. Yeah, the eye. The height of the triangle is four. What is the total area of the figure? Alright. 
So this will give us very easy. The triangle would be five times four, so that's twenty. And this will give us twenty-five. That should be forty-five. If we were to split this guys, this would be what 2.5. You know, 10, you know. Oh, this, this is not about 10. I have to find an half of it. So it's actually 35. So I got 2.5 by 4. 4 times that of 8. No. So this will be 10. So this will go to 5. So our answer would be 35. If that mathematician and make an error there, we are going with this okay. Well, you are going with say it's 35, right? The area of the rectangle, the area of a rectangle is 53. That if the length is multiplied by 4 and the split is half. Ah, and let's double it now. Let's double it. All of that, you just add up it. No matter what I'm trying. We divide by two. AOB is a sector of a circle such that the angle AOB equals 72 degrees and OB is our unit area of AOB. At least a sun like a so the AOB is the angle over 360 by our square. But since it's a sector, it's a fraction of so this answer for this one for 36 times one. Two. 36 times one and it's two times right? And then it came. So one thing. See there, when I break it down, it's low, right? So much nice. This is awesome, guys. Awesome. Hit that like button if you're just joining. Share it with somebody. How many kilograms are in one ton? Let's see a thousand. Yo, when we expect students to come by themselves. If it took a speedboat nine hours to travel a distance of that, what is the average speed, right? So we just divide. So it's one zero eight zero divided by nine. Nine to the four. I'm tricky, them, tricky, them, tricky. For the four, so we're going to for the five, and then almost here, just 15 to go up to that. For the five, come on, let's go, let's go. A man starts his journey at 9 30 hours and arrives at his destination in the same time zone at 13, so that's army time, so that's 1 30, right? If the average speed was 30 km per hour, then distance is. Alright, so I'm going to reason it out from 9.30 to 10.30, that's a one. 10.30 to 11.30, that's a two. 11.30 to 12.30, that's a four hours. And I'm going to move at average speed at 30, so it's 30 times four. 
Every hour, you now work for about three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will be one to go. All right, let's go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Hit that like button for Mr. Benny. Item refers to the following diagram. The pie chart above not down to scale represents the masses of ingredients in a cake. The total mass is 288 grams. What is the combined mass in grams of fat and sugar? What is the combined mass? Of... All right. So boom. We need these combined, right? So add this 100 and that 75. So the 175, 195, right? So this is 195. So We could have used the other way, we could have used the 195 over 360 times times the 288, but then it have to subtract it all. So it's 360 degrees because the circle measures 360 degrees minus 195. So this I got actually represent in terms of degrees. How much the um fat and sugar combined? Fat and sugar should not have so much to know. Yes. We kill it ourselves, we kill it ourselves, we kill it ourselves. And then so that's our 165. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is a 165. So I have to do bam, put this over 360. So that fraction of the 360 has been turned to the right. Why is this in the same sort of uh, calculate? Uh, maybe by five into the same tree. In this tree. Uh, five into the third is the seven. times 12. See? Now I use a calculator. You know this space can kind of limit it. Never mind. But it's 132. The pie chart in a to scale shows how a student used 12 hours in studying English, math, French, and geography. Okay. So the person is The amount of time spent studying mathematics is approximately I have to say 12 hours, right? So then I have to say English and French approximately 6 hours, right? Can it can be 5 hours because of the part of No, it can be 7 hours. That part is 7 hours, right? But that part is 6. So this is not meant 1. So that is 7 hours. So we need to split five hours in two. So the M look bigger, so we're not going to go with the three hours. Yeah, we want to think about our one there, guys. I know the answer to that. Let's see if I agree with mine. 
estimation. <clears throat> for the area for the following scores below 10, dot, 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 the median of the eight scores represent above. Oh, the median, so we have to arrange it now, ascending on. So one, four, four, then seven. Eight, then eight, then three, and then ten, and ten. Reason I do guys, I don't want them repeat, and I don't realize. Right? So I'm going to put the first three or something. Oh, so it will be seven plus eight, and divided by two, the two middle number, all right? Just I write it. This is our answer. Seven and a half. Right, let's move on to forty nine. The mode of the following numbers. Oh, yeah, I see. It. Numbers occur the most, which is eight. Of 120 students writing an exam, 100 are expected to pass the estimate. The estimated probability of a student failing is, all right, so if 100 expected to pass, 20 expected to fail. So it's 20 out of the total expected. Take it one by ten. That one, two, that six. So it's one six expected to be done. I don't know. I expect you guys to fail, but I expect you guys to pass. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Probability with a point of three. Probability is now. When three coins are tossed simultaneously, the possible outcomes are head, 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 da, 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 da. The H represents a head and T represents a T. What is the probability of obtaining at least two heads? All right, so that are the most important. At least. So it can be more than two heads, right? So we are searching one then with more than two heads. So it's a one. No, it can be two or more. Two or more, right? So it's a two. Here is my four. So right, okay, that's it. So that's one, two, three, four. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a half. Over eight, which is a half. Just nine more to go, guys. Hit that like button. All right. Thank you guys so much for being for watching. So that is the bus. See. In the figure above, A, B, and A, C, D, uh, and C, D are parallel. Which of the following best describe the relationship between X and Y? All right, so X is equal to Y, they are alternate angles. Very nice question. Content, content, base, content, content, content. Base. From the diagram above, sin, what a sign there is. So sin would be opposite. We're looking from this direction, right? So it's opposite over hypotenuse. And we know that, hey, what is wrong with you? Yeah, we're quite a party, right? But we know that 5, 4, add 3. 5 squared minus that would give us 3. So that's 3 over 5, opposite over hypotenuse. <laughs> that's an awesome question, also. 54. A, B, C, no, A prime, B prime, C prime is the image of A, B, C under an enlargement of scale factor 2. The area in centimeter units of A, B, C is, all right, so I'm going to look for, look for what we have first. 
the amplifying area of the other one. Right? And they will double it. That, that, that might think that if it's k factor by two, it means it several corners. And it yes. Several end of the out here. So that is a double, right? And this will be one, two, several layers. So. I see that we didn't even you know, and you get the scale factor that was double. So let's see. One, two, three, four. So these are four units. And this also will be four units. And it's a triangle, right? So right that we tell us a four times four. That will give us sixteen and divided by two. So our answer will be eight. Answer is don't guess it, guys. Don't guess it. But let me show you the real explanation. All right, so we're gonna move the owner. This one now, translation again. In the figure above, the line CD is the image of AB. So CD. All right. Let me figure out what we need right here. A rotation now. Rotation in the y axis. So that is it. We are looking at it a bit here. All right. So we move on to 56. Guys, we're almost to the end. Hit the like button. Please ensure that you watch the next video coming up. All right. Yes. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. All right. In the right angle, triangle above. Which of the following? Which trigonometric ratio is equal to 4 over 8? Tan, all right, you have to be, you have to be, is it a cos or something? Is it a cos or something? It's an opposite over hypotenuse. Yeah, from X. So that's sin. Opposite hypotenuse. I've seen that one. Now I'm going to figure it out. Like I want to Seven, a rectangle has a rotational symmetry of order of All right, so this is a rectangle. All right, guys, I didn't understand that question, but I went on Google. But it means that, um, for example, if I rotate it by 90 degrees, then it's a miracle fall out of place. But if I do it by one Newton, so it's actually two times. I was not taught that in grade seven. Too much things to learn. Eh? If the sum of the interior angle of a polygon is four right angles, then the polygon is, is a triangle, a hexagon, a pentagon, or a quadrilateral. And that would be D. All right, let's move on to 59. Hit that like button, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please ensure that you watch the other 600 videos on my channel. All right, I'm out. No doubt. So, yeah, what you have to say. All right, we'll look for that one. You know, so, how many triangles? How many triangles congruent to AD would be needed to cover? A, B, C, D. Wow. All right. So, congruent, that means an equal. So, bam. So, that would be one, two. Let me try it here. One, two. And then. I'm starting to get the wrong place. Just it's a one, two.
Take care of your work. Hope for one. Yo. So, watch out. Boom. One. Yeah, so this will be one. And then one, two. So, come for now one here. Yeah. So, that will be two. And then I come to again one, two. That will be three. I need to rub out everything I did. I, I missed it. Um, it better me do the, the top and down. So you cover everything, all right? All right? Let's go, let's go. Let's do this together, guys. Let's do this together. So I'm going to reach near the end, you know, you have to to, uh... all right, so boom. It's a one, two, right? One, two. All right, so this is a one. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this now. One, two, whatever, right? So this is a one, two. All right, from one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, Make sure it's a different color, don't it? Yeah, man. Maybe you would have a color of the So you guys can see what I want. I love the question. I like me at first. What I was saying, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you guys talking about? It's very awesome. It's an awesome question. Alright, so we're going to treat. So we're going to change the color. So bump to one to again. But you know, I see the answer. So this now, we have this cardinal four. Now five. So this one makes screw the question about body, 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 body. Absolutely awesome. So it will take six of them, five with that one. All right, and for the next one now, in the figure above, A, B, C, D is a triangle with A, B equal B, so that's an equilateral, and C, D equal, no, what are they? This, this could be the figure first, this is the so, oh, why am I taking this up? No, this is one at 50. Why am I getting the water? You guys are missing it. You only say that it is only that I just said this. All right, so this is 50. That's a 100. So, right, this is going to be 80. What's your reason, you guys? What's your reason, you man? What's your reason? I'll try and get that up too. Right, so we get to the eighty. So, so right here, so that we have this on a straight line. So this is a bit hundred. So it means that them two are four, and then two four. Absolutely awesome. You see, me not even look what notice and find every angle. Me not even meant for them after. Them see angle A B C. So you see that A B C. You see that at the entire angle. Absolutely awesome question to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please ensure that you subscribe to my channel. Watch out, guys. I got at least 40 more videos coming on CSEC Pass Paper. Thank you guys so much. This is Mr. Benny. I'm out. Please ensure that you subscribe. I'm out, no doubt.